What's good, YouTube? By popular demand, here's part two of useful apps for the BlackBerry Passport. If you missed part one, check out my link in the description below. The BlackBerry Passport, despite being released over four years ago, still has quite a loyal fan following, and people have been searching for new apps that are compatible with its unique OS, BlackBerry 10, that allow users to continue using the Passport with modern applications and social media. The previous list and the following apps will hopefully help people continue using their Passport until BlackBerry decides what it's going to do with its handset division or we have some kind of alternative to the BlackBerry Passport. Uber. Yes, the rideshare app Uber is functional on the BlackBerry Passport, though this one you don't actually get off the Google Play Store. If you actually go on the BlackBerry native app store, BlackBerry World, and type in Uber, you'll find this Uber app, which is a fully functional version of Uber. If you have an existing Uber account, you can actually log in from your BlackBerry Passport, or even make a new account. All of Uber's features work on the BlackBerry Passport, and if you have your account set up, simply enter in your pickup spot and destination, and you can set up your next ride hail. Surprisingly, the Passport form factor works perfectly for Uber. The largest screen on the Passport allows you to navigate the map easily to select your pickup and drop off locations. And the keyboard makes it perfect for typing in these locations and or addresses. So if you're on the fence about the Passport and you often use Uber, you'll probably be happy to know that one iteration of the app does work perfectly on the BlackBerry Passport. GFit. Yes, the popular fitness and workout app is in full working form on the BlackBerry Passport. The Passport actually makes for a pretty good workout solution if you think about it. With its metal chassis and its rubberized back, the Passport is a relatively durable phone that might work well in the gym. And the fact that you can easily interchange the SIM cards and the fact that it has a headphone jack might be something that's very appealing for people that like to switch out phones for the gym. In addition, the larger screen phones makes navigating through GFIT's menus and different workouts a breeze. The 1 to 1 aspect ratio also makes timers and cycling through sets a lot easier than on 16x9 phones. The larger screen is also great for tracking your progress as the tables presented by GFIT are a lot easier to follow when you have the Passport's extra screen real estate. So, if you're a fan of workout apps like GFIT, or regularly use these apps during your workout, you might want to consider the Pass Wonderlist. If you're using the Passport for its intended purpose, productivity, then Wonderlist is definitely on your list of must-have apps. The popular to-do list app is almost the perfect companion for the BlackBerry Passport. It's almost as if the larger screen and the built-in touch sensor in the Passport's keyboard were designed with Wonderlist in mind, as creating and navigating your list is a lot more fun on this kind of form factor. You also have the Passport's trademark blinking LED light to remind you of activities or things that come up on your daily list. The keyboard makes inputting new items into your list a lot easier, and I found myself using Wonderlist a lot more with the Facebook Messenger. Yes, the popular messenger app does work for the BlackBerry Passport on BlackBerry OS X. Well, sort of. You actually have to download Messenger Lite for it to work on your BlackBerry 10, but all the features are there. The BlackBerry Passport is naturally designed to be great at texting and sending messages, so if you're a fan of Facebook Messenger and do like to use it to communicate with your friends and have a BlackBerry Passport, it's a very compelling option. You can go through your chats, see which one of your friends are online, and start new chats with Facebook Messenger Lite on the BlackBerry Passport. So there you have it folks, another set of apps to prolong your longevity on your favorite BlackBerry 10 device. Having owned the Passport since it was released, I'm actually quite surprised that some of these apps still work five years after the original release. And I have to say that the BlackBerry Passport's unique design has really given it a lot of legs in terms of lifespan. 
These apps continue to add features to the BlackBerry Passport and applications that allow it to do what these modern flagships also do. So what do you think? Do these sets of apps from part one and part two allow the Passport to still be practical in today's smartphone market? Leave a message below. Don't forget to subscribe.